Hello everyone and welcome to Terry Technique Sweden. Today we are back with another brand new video and in this video I will be talking about the Android Stereo we installed in this BMW 5 Series 2016 model. So we installed our latest, current latest Android Stereo in this car and I will be talking about its specifications and why is it worth buying. So basically I will be giving you a review on it. A uh, very quick review so without further ado let's get into it first of all this is in fully Android stereo uh, it's a 9.0 Android we also have 10.0 uh, and this comes with a built-in memory of uh, 32 to 64 gigabytes and built-in RAM from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes so this is fully Android um, but it has some extra features as well that usually android tablets or device phones doesn't have first of all uh, let's begin from the built-in features like it has music player built-in music player bluetooth this bluetooth has two functions as our other stereos when you when when you connect your phone to this stereo you can either call somebody from here receive calls or uh, you can see your contacts here as well or you can go to the BT music and listen to the songs basically on your phone so when you play anything from your phone you can hear it in the car then it also have the built-in navigation uh, this is the built-in navigation we have in this stereo and the application we use or would prefer is iGo navigation for the first time I'm opening it so it's gonna take a little bit of time so why we prefer iGo navigation is it's completely free you really don't need to connect it to the internet in order to navigate the this uh, software or application we have here iGo is completely offline it basically um, uh, takes signal from the satellite in in order to navigate so it doesn't really requires internet but if you don't want to use iGo obviously it also have the built-in built -in Wi-Fi and other features as well you can connect this stereo to the internet via mobile or personal hotspot or you can connect uh, uh, some kind of dongle or anything else in order to use the internet and once you have internet you can basically go to the the Play Store and in iPhones you have App Store but uh, here on the Androids most of the people I'm pretty sure are familiar with the Play Store or Play Boutique in Swedish you can go there and download any kind of maps or any kind of application you want for example we also have this Google Maps here you can also use this but it does requires internet so uh, this is the built-in navigation we have here which is the iGo one it takes uh, a little bit of time to download the file for the first time but yeah then you also have the file manager obviously for all the files we have the internal and the external whenever we install a stereo in a car we install two external usb ports as well uh, we, we install it uh, in some cars here or in some cars on the left side here uh, right here as we have for this car so you can basically uh, connect a usb or insert a memory card uh, in order to play uh, videos or listen to the songs via USB as well. Then it also uh, have this the car info basically. It's basically your older uh, stereo here. It's similar. All of all your older stereos function will be here in the car info. So basically, you, if you want to go to the radio, you can you can use your older stereo as well. But if you don't, you can just click here and go back to the Android one. Then it also have a built-in browser, uh, but uh, this one is a built-in, so... Uh, but if you don't want to use this one, you obviously you can download Google Chrome's or something else if you want. It also... Uh, it, it, this stereo is also compatible with the front camera, which is DVR. So basically, if you have a front camera, we also sell it, but this customer didn't want it, neither the front or the back, so we don't have it here. But once you connect the dashboard camera or a front camera here, all your videos or your display preview will be here to the DVR. And if you also, if you have a back camera installed with the stereo, uh, how you use it as soon as you put it in the reverse gear, you will have your display here of the back camera, your sensors, everything is gonna work perfectly fine and uh, uh, but this customer didn't have it so that's why it says no signal but you can do that as well front camera and back camera you can install it with this stereo then it has some settings here then it has this dashboard cool feature it basically shows all your car data here and also your rev meter speedometer you can also change the colors and colors from here yeah 
uh, and uh, it works properly. If I rev it, I can show you. It goes up. I'm not rubbing it that much, it's not my car. But yeah, it's the dashboard, you can play around and get some cool uh, features as well. Then it also have a phone link, which allows you to mirror your phone. Uh, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, doesn't matter, you can mirror it to the screen here. Uh, then it has some downloaded apps as well, you can also download it. It, ha it also have the Google Chrome, which is pre-installed, we have it all for all the series. But if you have, want to use other applications like Netflix, Spotify, you can go to the Play Store, log in with your any Google account and then download apps for free, doesn't matter. Also have the Gmail here, uh, some other features as well. There is the iGo we installed, we installed it for almost all the stereos. So this is the stereo we installed in this BMW uh, 5 Series 2016 model. So. We, we have uh, these kind of stereos for almost all the cars. You can check our website. And if, you, if you're not a BMW guy, if you have Audi, Mercedes, we have the stereos for those cars as well. I will leave all the given links in the description below. Uh, you can check it out. You can visit our website or you can contact us, call us if you have more questions and if you want to buy a stereo for your car. So thanks for today. See you in the next video, guys.